if do you deeply believe that something like a superhuman AI exists if we ever achieve this level or it's the marketing tick of big tech and huge companies? Thank you. Let me ask, answer the second question first. I think both Demis and I believe we are going to get super intelligence. It's not hype and it's not designed to distract from other, other problems with AI. It's what we have believed for a long time. Now, I thought it would be much further away, but the speed of recent developments means I think it's going to be quite soon. I think between five and 20 years, I think Demis thinks in about 10 years, we'll get something like superintelligence. And we have to worry seriously about how we stay in control then. Um, for us, actually, uh, starting uh, a deep mine back in 2010, we, we, we did sort of think through um, the, the, you know, what would happen if we built these kinds of intelligences. Um, of course, my passion is always to um, uh, build these types of tools to help us with scientific discovery, as, as we see today. Uh, and I think we'll get amazing things out of that, cures for diseases, helping with energy, climate, all, a lot of the big challenges we have in front of us as humanity today. Um, but we've always been cognizant as well of the, the risks that come with any powerful general purpose technology. And I think AI will be one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful technologies humanity will ever invent. One of the shorter term dangers of AI is the development of lethal autonomous weapons. And there isn't going to be any regulation there. If you look at the European regulations, for example, they have a specific clause in them that says none of these regulations apply to military uses of AI. So governments are unwilling to regulate themselves when it comes to lethal autonomous weapons. AI is a uh, uh, very important technology to regulate. Um, but I think it's very important that we get the regulations right. And I think that's the hard thing at the moment is it's such a fast moving technology um, and evolving so quickly. Uh, what we would have discussed regulating a few years ago is not what we would be thinking about regulating now. So what I've been advising governments and, and, and uh, civil society to do is to have um, fast and nimble regulations, maybe build on uh, the regulations in domains that we already have regulations in like healthcare and transport and so on. Um, and see how the technology develops and then quickly adapt to the way that's going.